let's talk loud. Let's move on. Vinny and uh, and Digizine, I think, are reported to to be joining this one. Does the, Digizine are mad excited to be joining loud? I'm not gonna lie because this guy should have been in tier one um, after the, the the first year that he had, um, and he's a fantastic neon player as well. So he kind of missed the boat in that regard as well. I think he would have been a stellar player to be playing in tier one for for any team. But um, I, I'm excited about that. Uh, this this kind of Prospect. Yeah, but, um, I, I know there's there's concerns about Loud maybe not reaching the same heights as they have before in the past, but um, I think that they are they're looking in the right areas for talented players. Yeah, I think that's fair. This guy can play a lot of stuff as well. He loves a he loves a chamber, right? They he used to play chamber on split, yeah. which is like the yeah. one map that maybe you shouldn't be playing <laughs> chamber on. So we'll <laughs> see if they lean uh, see if they lean heavy onto that in some other maps as well. But yeah, DJ Zin is I feel like he's a bit of a beast. Um, I mean, I like you were saying, I don't think this team will reach the heights. Like I think that's I think we kind of have to lower the expectations now because they've they've lost a lost a good amount of players. There is oh. no team that epitomizes the changing of the guard and the fact that we're in a new era more than loud to me. This was mm. the Brazilian super team that formed yeah. with like the best pieces of multiple different teams, brought up the absolute best talent out of like ranked basically for Aspas and less. And now they've lost all of those pieces that really make them who they are. The the They've got Pancada, but he took a year out and wasn't even with them for a while. And he might not even be on smokes. I don't even know because they have Pankada and Tui's on the team heading into next year. It feels like Kawanzin is the best player that they, like a veteran presence that they have. Vinny's going to be yeah. IGLing and he wasn't IGLing for his former squad. It, like, there's, there's, there's a, a lot, lot of, of ifs. There's a lot yeah. of ifs. <laughs> yeah. I, I can see a world where they make the double smokes work with two years in Pankada. Because we listen, the map oh, pool, yeah. the map pool is gonna have a lot of big maps. Listen, we're already seeing it on like uh, on maps like Abyss, but um, I know Lotus got taken out in Icebox with it. But um, I, I mean, you got Pearl coming back in too, so I think that there's there's potential, especially with the Astra buffs. Like you can you're gonna see some double controller potentially being played by a lot of teams um, still, I guess. Um, but yeah, despite the ifs, I am cautiously optimistic for the whole team because because I think one of the ifs, which is Pancada. Like, I've kind of excused the roles, the overlap of the roles. But Pancada, I think, when if he doesn't have to communicate in English, because it was constantly talked about, like, that they would struggle with communication aspects with Pancada playing in, in, into that, on top of him switching to a new role when he was playing in Sen. Now he's, he's communicating in Portuguese, and he gets to play his old role again. When we saw glimpses of it, like, there, there were times where you could see the old Pancada. Like, you can tell he's still an incredibly skilled player when he was playing on Sen. So I'm, I'm excited for him to be rejoining a, a, a roster where he's not going to be having those... Ooh, that's not good. BBL Zelsis. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I do, Whoa, 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 whoa. <clears throat> I lost my train of thought for a sec. What was no, that? was left on the screen for a very long time. Though. It was. <laughs> yeah, it really was. I just wanted to make yeah. sure that you guys saw that Pencata tweeted it. <laughs> <laughs> I think if you get Pencata back to his like tippity top performances playing smokes. Oh, that's amazing for them. But it necessitates Tui's being pushed onto, like, Sentinel, for example. And Tui's is a duelist player who joined Loud to play Smokes, who is then being moved to Sentinel as to, like, make room for new players coming in. It just seems a bit weird what this team is doing. It feels a bit like they're working with the scraps of the meat now instead of the juice, juicy choice cuts. <laughs> and... When you have, um, when you have the level of competition that you have in Americas, and when you have MIBR now with Aspas, Noswa potentially, and whatever else kind of talent Aspas can attract there, I think the idea that Loud is going to be head and shoulders above the other Brazilian teams is like it's it's not even we're not even going to be starting from that uh, concept anymore at the beginning of next year. Yeah, I think you touched on the the best point there, which is. The competition is just so much harder now because like actually on paper like two years ago or like a year ago you look at this and you're like that's not a that's not a bad roster like they'll probably do it right but dude, everyone's got really big upgrades this year i feel like like 90 percent of the teams most of them in america's have, have got an upgrade and yeah i, I guess i'm just worried because of that because these are like it's just like the only reason that we're talking like so negatively is just that most of these teams are getting upgrades and, and you would say that this is a downgrade and that's um 
Yeah, that's that's. Not Would you great. still take loud over two G? Essentially, I don't. I'm 2G not sure. Pre- two G look pretty good. Yeah, it, it, it could be the be fourth best Brazilian team. It's that it's entirely possible, but also when you lose Sadak, who's been mm. definitely the best IGL in the region for like the entire time that he's been there, and you lose Less, who's been utterly incredible, and you've already lost Aspas and you know Sassi in the past before as well. It's somewhat inevitable that this team is not going to look like the same roster that came before it. Yeah, I agree. Lose, losing less is really big. And the the thing that do you know, the thing that worries me a little bit, and we don't really know um, the insides of the team that much, um, is like comp wise, this team tried some weird stuff as well. Like we've got to remember that this this was didn't, a team that was. What you mean? You don't Phoenix. like the Sadak on Neon? No, wasn't it Sadak who said he gave more free reign to the coaches though? During I that swear era. to God, but, he was throwing those motherfuckers under the yeah. bus so damn yeah. hard, man. Yeah, he was like, he was the, like. I am giving full responsibility to the coaches. <laughs> Let me play Neon! <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, see, it, it's weird because sometimes you like want to clear, your, I've been in a similar situation where you like want to clear your name and be like, I had nothing to do with this. Like, yeah. this is not me. Um, so I think it was one of those moves where it's like, I, he's just like, man, I, want, I don't want my name attached to this. 